Shikaisen gets you here, this bad boy is 20 pounds, half the weight of the Dragon Slayer, which makes a huge difference when it comes to wielding it. I'm going to pull out the Dragon Slayer in just a second, and you'll see the immaculate difference it holds. And I've got to train with it. I'm trying to master the Dragon Slayer. I would say I've got a much better handle on Shikai Zangetsu after 75 days of training. I've now moved on to the Dragon Slayer. If you haven't seen any of the previous days, go check them out. I'm going to go over the progress I've made in those past 10 days, and we'll see how far I've come. We're nowhere near done training with the sword, but I want to see the progress, and I think we've made a bit. And honestly, in 20 days, we might make some more. So stick around, consider subscribing, and uh, yeah, let's destroy some stuff and do some training. That is just so epic every single time. All right, um, I'm gonna do that again. Set this up. All right. What the heck? And you haven't subscribed already? Hit that button below. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to grab the Dragon Slayer and we're going to continue training. Cool. Alright, so yeah, this is the Dragon Slayer, a 40 pound sword. It's, uh, it's a lot of weight, not easy to wield, but I've been doing it for 10 days now and I think I'm getting some confidence. I, I don't know. When it comes to swinging massive swords, I've realized it's not all about strength. A lot of it is just the confidence to pick up the sword and trust your body to swing it. However, um, I mean, I've hit myself a few times with this already. A couple bruises here and there, but we're doing all right. Day one was definitely the biggest struggle, just learning how much weight I was actually trying to pick up. And then along the whole way, I think I've learned that, well, it's going to take a few more than 10 days to wield this sword. However, when I just started, I could hardly pick this thing up. And now, with a bit of form, I've learned it's not actually that hard as long as you have the strength in your legs to, you know, squat. That being said, I moved along to doing exactly what I just did there with slowly chopping, trying to gain some control when I swing down, I guess. That has definitely, uh, done some work to my back and after about 10 days of doing it I'm a little sore a little sore goodness no I'm I, I'm bedridden it feels like however that's not stopping me I feel like I've rejuvenated a bit after day seven so now what I'm gonna do is demonstrate some of the things I've learned you could say learned I don't know I've been just doing trial and error and I've gained a lot more trial than error wait hold on I've done a lot more error than trial. That's what I'm trying to say. That being said, I've gotten to some extent a little... Well, I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm just winging this. I've learned hardly anything. I'm just picking up a massive sword. I'm a, a noodle in the brain kind of guy. Ugh. However, what I can do is almost this. That's pretty cool. However, because this is a seven foot tall sword, I struggle to not hit the ground on that swing. But we're getting there. I still have to practice the form a bit more, but we're getting close and I'm getting more control. Whew. Now, a few of you guys have commented that you want me to show more of my actual training or workout. I try to keep these videos short because this is day 10, it's going to be a little bit longer. When it comes to swinging a massive sword, it's not like your usual workout. It's not just curling and bench press. However, ugh, it is very doable to overhead press this thing. It's only 40 pounds, but I mean, you kind of do feel the weight of it over time. This is actually kind of fun.
Now, that does work the chest a little bit, but the main learning curve I've been going over is just picking this sword up, which I just demonstrated, and learning how to swing it, which is gonna be hard to do with this log in the way, but we're gonna go for it. I found it's actually a lot easier to start with a reverse swing like this, going behind my back, instead of cutting forward. I don't know why that is, it's just the case, and I've been enjoying it. So, let me just do that for you. Oh. Ah, yeah, so that's never easy. Goodness. However, because I'm trying to learn new things, I am gonna try swinging it forward and around this time. Now let's just try swinging this forward, which might be the scariest thing I've ever done. Oh. We got it over the head. That is actually progress. I find swinging it forward, you're cutting a lot lower around the head than doing it reversed and over. So that's something I definitely need to work on. That all being said, I've talked a lot and you guys probably want to see me actually do some training. So let's get right into that. God bless. Thank you for watching and listening to me ramble on and on and on. <sighs> it's kind of a bit of procrastination when it comes to swinging this massive sword, but it's got to be done for the sake of no reason at all. Changing my grip so my right hand is actually on top now. This is where I struggle. So I think it was on day six I started practicing this next move. I'm gonna do a few more reps of it, which is putting the sword behind my back and squatting it up over my shoulder. It really helps when I'm trying to swing the blade around because when I swing the blade, I have to somehow get the momentum to pick it up over my head. And I found lifting it with my shoulder has been the case. But watching back my videos, I find I'm very hunched doing it and I need to actually perform it with more of a straight back, tucked in core. So I'm gonna keep working on that right now. Oh, nope. I mean, that was good. I just meant to keep it held up, not falling over me. That was good, that was good momentum. All right, let's try again, but this time I'm gonna try keeping it upright. This sword is so tall that it's actually hard to get a good grip on it. Oh, dropping. Goodness. Okay, another attempt. Just so you get both sides, I'll turn around the other way. a good form one. I felt that one good. All right, back down. Oh. The thing about doing this with only one layer, like a t-shirt, I'm wearing a sweater right now because the abrasion on the shoulder, it's a lot from 40 pounds of steel. So it's nice to have an extra layer while doing this.
Oh yeah, it's easy with leverage. You just gotta, you gotta use some, some head knowledge. Goodness, two hands on the sword. That I need to remember. All right, with a little bit of that going on, I'm gonna try spinning the blade again because that's honestly the best move I can do so far and I wanna get better at it. So, uh, here we go. Ah, okay, there's gotta be something I'm missing. I think it's strength. I think that's what I'm lacking. Let's try that again, but fully commit. It's the confidence. You just, you just do it. Okay. Whew. All right, let's just, let's just do it. I'm just gonna do it. No, there's something, there's something I'm missing. I think I'm dropping too fast. Okay. All right. Again. One. Okay. Kinda. There was something going on there. Confidence. I just need to commit to it. Okay. Let's try it again. See, those of you who are commenting saying you wanted to see me show more of the trial and error and the working out, this is what it is. It's just me lifting the sword and dropping it until I get it, basically. So, let's try again. Whew. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, consider doing it. This takes a lot of work. And if you haven't seen the video of me making this sword, go check it out, it's linked below. But as always, leave a like and comment another sword build you wanna see me make, if you're interested. And you've watched this long, I suppose. Whew. All right, let's try this again. Ugh. Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out my stance. Come on! Ah. Nope. Ah. I don't think it's happening today. I got it on day seven, so if you want to go back and watch that video, I actually managed to pull it off, but I think my body has taken too much of the uh, good old shoulder knocking to uh, be able to pull this off again without some good rest. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna split this log because it's right in front of me, I suppose, and then probably call it there for day 10. Thank you so much for watching. Come back for day 11. I'm gonna keep going until I hit 10,000 subscribers. So hopefully that's soon so I don't have to, you know, spend every day doing this. But actually, I secretly do really enjoy this and want to master this sword because who else can really say they've mastered a 40 pound real life dragon slayer, hand forged by a blacksmith. I don't know, there's not too many. Let's just split this log and get this all over with. Thank you for watching, God bless, and I'll see you on day 11. Ugh. Hoorah! Let's go, thank you so much for watching. Oh, God bless. Let's do this again tomorrow.